Good morning, family. I hope you all are having a beautiful day. I stopped by because I wanted to share with you all just the importance of dropping your own seeds. This is a time in our lives where we need to be growing our own food. And when I say growing my own food, I mean from beginning to the end. Because some people may say to you, oh, it's okay to go out and buy starts. Yeah, but remember that those starts is going to hurt you more than it's going to help you. Now, I know some people don't want to hear this, but I'm saying it because it's the truth. They are putting so much in these plants. Today, I want to drop some celery. And this is my celery that I harvest. And this is how I preserve it. I just cut it off the stem and I just put it in a bag. And when I'm ready to drop celery, I go and get that bag and I drop my celery. So I have some peat moss here. And now, let's get some. So this is a salad bowl blend, um, Little Jim, Black Seeded Simpson. Oh, this is the Vivian. Um, this is a, a, a romaine lettuce. I'm gonna put her over here. And of course I have some leeks and some onions. So let's drop the onions first. The vegetables that you find that you and your family eat the most, like lettuce, onions. You can grow green onions, shallots. They can grow all year round, no matter where you live. You can grow these vegetables year round with no pesticides. No chemicals at all, family, at all. So now we're gonna get our uh, heat moss. And we're gonna sprinkle it over the entire little beds. Gonna water these babies in. There we go. All of the lettuce is all Wow. There we go. Now, I do have some arugula growing in another container. And I dropped some uh, parsley. Uh, that's what you saw me doing over there, uh, dropping parsley. Uh, I just need to go back and water it. Right? This has been, he is pulling weeds from my Katrina bricks. I want to put cabbage there. Also, I was sharing my pomegranate. It is so tall, but I need to prune it. But I want you all to know that my garden is a four season garden. And the reason it's a four season garden is because I eat every day. Vegetables like onions, garlics, leeks, herbs like thyme and oregano and rosemary, they could all grow year round. All right, so we have four. <laughs> four persimmons on this little tree. Let's get it off. All right, there they are. So this is the last of my Fuyu persimmons for this season. Um, 
I had two harvests of my Fuyu persimmons. And let's see. Altogether, I'm thinking I have close to 90 persimmons this season off of my Fuyu persimmon. Yeah, she did really good this year. Very good. I have some friends of mine coming over. So, this is what we're going to have for dessert. I've already gotten all the food cooked, what we're going to eat because, listen, anytime someone come over, there must be food. So, this is uh, our dessert. One of them have never tried a Fuyu persimmon, but today, yeah, she gonna get that try. She gonna get it. <laughs> because I am a outdoor gardener. I don't grow inside. Everything I grow is outdoors. I'm very selective about my vegetables that I plant outside, right? And this is why I shared about the herbs and all of the spices that I use on a daily basis. I try to grow them myself. And can you grow them yourself? Yes, you can. Go to your spice rack and see what do you buy? What, what is the things that you purchase? And you can grow them yourself. Now, you maybe cannot grow them in the fall, but definitely in the spring and in the summer, you can get your spice racked full of your own spices, vegetables, spices, the flavors that you use in your food on a daily basis. These babies right here, yeah, that's a starter pot. Let's go check it out, y'all. So there is kohlrabis, there's beets, there is tetsoi. Of course, I have a lot of onions in there. You see those onions? Yeah. All of these right here, these pretty, pretty purple it's kohlrabis. Yeah. And also have some cabbage in here, too. All right. So Ben is getting rid of the the pots that is gone and he's going to place the other ones on the fence. So cool. So we're getting rid of the pots that's gone <laughs> and the ones that still have some life in it, he's just going to stack them up over there for me. I love it. Yeah. All right. Ben got my square. He got my square clean. <laughs> so this is a part of my garden where it's just a large cement square. And um, yeah, it was filled with pots and they are still, they over there. But that table, I built that table right there. I built that table a while ago, but the legs on it, um, broke so Ben is going to build legs on that table because the table is still great uh, that is wood of a pallet yeah so um, he's going to uh, put some legs on it for me and on the other side of it is spray painted red like you know the little square box too next to it so I'm going after he do it I'm going to spray paint it red and I'm gonna set it up where I can have my grow table back because it fell apart the legs did but that's okay we're gonna get it together baby we're gonna get it together 
Because of COVID, our world changed. The entire American way of doing things changed. We realized that we do not want to miss out on our children growing up by spending eight, nine, ten hours a day in somebody's office. So what happened? Millions of entrepreneurs came onto the scene. So family, listen, on tonight's live, which is Sunday, I would like to talk about entrepreneurs and are you supporting entrepreneurs. There are so many here in our community and the holiday seasons is upon us. I would like for you to think about the entrepreneurs that is in our gardening community. Are you supporting them? And if you're not, I would love for us to support many of the entrepreneurs here in our gardening community. So in my live tonight at 7 Central Time, I would like to share how I would like to help the entrepreneurs in our gardening community. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna harvest one of my oranges. Now, ooh, yeah, she juicy. She's soft. Now, could she stay longer? Yeah. But not this one. Let me open her up, y'all. I'm telling you, she's so fragrant. Oh, it smells so good. I have my pills. I'm not throwing them away. I'm going to make some oils with these. But um, this is her in the inside. It smells so good. Um, the seeds are nice. You can see that. Wait a minute, y'all. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. That's her seeds. Oh, my gosh. She's so sweet. Oh, she's so sweet, y'all. I am. I, I'm just so blessed. I feel so blessed. I thank God for this. I really do. This is a blessing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. God is amazing. Hmm? When you can come out to your yard and harvest something so delicious and nutritious. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen, family. So the sun is going down and the sun is this way. So there is a fig right there, but I'm going to show you this one. So this is my um, black mission. So here's a... Oh. There's a fig right there. Oh, I can't get over there. I'm not going all the way around, y'all. But there's a fig over there. <laughs> and let me just tell you that my, my, um, let's go see. Let me share. <laughs> if you can see because the sun is here. But anyway, this is my uh, LSU purple. You can see she has lots of figs on her. And there's more on that stem. <sighs> wow, it's a lot of them. But this is my brown turkey. Let's see if you can see him from here. Let's see, can I zoom in some? So here is the brown turkey. This is the biggest one. And hopefully you can see all the figs up there. Uh, <laughs> they have birds. One particular bird is like, she's the boss it's like it's my tree and nobody can get the figs you know but me um it's, it's a lot of figs on this little well it's not a little tree it's a big tree but uh, i'm gonna do more air lays on her this is the one i did the double air lay on 
and I'm gonna have to do uh, another maybe two air lays off of this one but this is my pineapple pear she got to come down some the olive tree she have to come down the orient pear is back there that's the tallest one back there and the pomegranate so all of them must be pruned by the beginning of spring yeah but it's full of it's full of figs yeah yeah you can see them on there it's just a lot of them and that sugar cane back there I'm gonna harvest that one too <laughs> wow it is so much right yeah yeah this is my soursop tree she is getting very big she is in a 10 gallon container but for the spring of 2025, she will be in the ground. Oh yeah. So in the beginning of spring, Ben and I will plant her in the ground. She is very healthy and beautiful. Yeah, the sour sap tree, y'all. So this is another, one of the wild parts in my garden. As of today, I have three wild parts of my garden, and I love it, where I have flowers, um, all kinds of elephant ears, you know, uh, I just let it grow, just let it grow. And the insects, as you can see, they absolutely love it. I have it all year round, so they will know what a food is. So when I really need them, in the spring, they will be here because in the fall, we really don't need beneficial insects. Only when we are allowing a plant or two to go to seed, this is when we will need a beneficial insect. But as far as the fall garden, just for us to get food, no, we don't need them. But I want them to know they have a home here with me, right? <laughs> yeah. It is important for us to grow our food organically simply because of, well, there's many reasons, but one of the reasons I want to share with you right now is because of our taste buds. Our taste buds are getting jacked up because when we taste a real fruit, <laughs> it don't taste right. It's because many of us have never tasted a real fruit. So before. this is my lunch. This is beans that I harvest from my garden. Um, and I'm just gonna saute them with some onions and peppers. Yeah. This butter in this pan. Yeah. <laughs> It was so delicious. Uh, the purple onion just brings out a whole different flavor to your food. I love it, family. But I just want my vegetables to be a little al dente. I don't want them all limpy. This is my salad, cucumbers, fuyu persimmons, yeah, and more purple onions. And this is what it looks like. The cucumbers, of course, is from my garden also. They were so delicious. So I have the jade and the white cucumbers and they were really good. The shrimp and catfish. Now, if you never tried your fuyu persimmons and salads, just wait till they're soft and they are delicious. They are delicious. The beans were so good and my friends, they enjoyed themselves very much. It was a beautiful day, um, inside and out. Yeah, those for you persimmons. I must have used about seven. <laughs> yeah, because I have more inside. Later, y'all. Yeah.